two different dogs are being used in this video. One is the Labrador here, and the other is a Australian cattle dog. And you'll see that the Labrador is more puppy-like, more gawky, not, you know, they're clumsy. The cattle dog at this point, they're both about the same age, about six months, is, is functioning much more like an adult. You'll see Gus here sort of, sort of see, he's clumsy. This is a typical Labrador. And you can't, you can't worry about it and don't start um, comparing one dog to the other because they're all different. This dog is doing great at hold, really good. And um, the cattle dog is, is slower picking up hold. Never compare one dog you have with another dog. No dog is stupid. No dog is smart. They're all trainable. That's my point. All dogs are trainable. Every one of them. It doesn't make a difference. Now watch here. I'm going to start moving around a little bit so that the dog gets used to me moving around because all the commands, it's implied that the dog stays in that position until it gets another command. It's built into the commands. On some things, I don't have to use a leash with either dog, on, but generally speaking, with the lab, I'm going to use the leash more right now. Whoa! But your, la your, your leash is your number one tool. Well, it's a standing position. It means stand and don't move. That's all it means. It's not a substitution for the word stay. We don't use stay because stay is built into the command. No. No sniffing. No, here. He's going to sit. So I'm moving him off his mark, and we're going to put him back on into the well position. If you're not Deal. using a leash properly, you're going to have issues. You know, th this on, dog will get off leash. It's not going to be oh. a problem. He's great. He's a great Labrador. He's Whoa. just very typical of a Labrador. The railroad tie is used. It's a visual cue to help the dog. And the it's end of the railroad tie indicates that he needs to stop. I could also use a 55-gallon drum because that, if the dog was on it, no, here, it would make it hard for the dog to sit. If the dog sits, it's not doing whoa. So I might slide my hand or my foot underneath the dog like this, getting the dog back up into the whoa position. Okay, whoa means stand. It's not a substitu sub substitution for the word stay. No, heel. You don't say stay to the dog because that's, that's telling the dog that there's something other than the command and there's not. There's a sit down, heel, whoa. And then you would give them another command to get them out of that position. So if the dog is sitting, you might call it to you here. Or if it was sitting, you might have it go into the whoa position where it stands. Don't say stay and teach your dog whoa for sure. It's invaluable. It's invaluable. Most house dogs don't learn this. They should. All dogs should learn how to do whoa, not just hunting dogs, dogs that point. It's invaluable. It's muscle memory. Get the dog doing it, and they like it. Heel. The red healer is typical oh, of the red healer. At six months, it acts sort of like uh, some of the small terriers do, like an adult. This dog will be a doofus for two years. Something like that. Whoa. Take your time. Be thorough. That's a good boy. Whoa. Here. No, here. No, here. So up. Whoa. Off leash. Here's the tail, slow wag. Heel. Come on, let's go. Toto up. Whoa! It's a good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Good girl. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that raven. Total heel. Nice. Very good. Good girl. Come here. Here.
Put up. Whoa! Yeah, good dog. Come on, baby, heel. Come on. Go. Here. One more time. One more time. Up. Whoa! Very good. Very nice. Good toters. Come on, here. Total here. Good girl. Let's do it. Well, one more time. Let's go. This is important here because she Come sort on, of is messing up. Here. See how she did Come that? She's not supposed to do that. Oh, and watch what she does here. Total. I'm reading her. I'm like, well, right that here, doesn't here. make any sense. Okay, now up. We're going to finish out, but I'm thinking she needs to go to the Whoa. bathroom. See? Right. She, that's Here's unlike Toto. Right. Come on. That's unlike Toto. Watch Come this. On, Toto. So, so I think she has to go to the bathroom, but we're going to make her finish out. I'm not going to hold her there long. She's allowed to make mistakes. She's not a robot, she's a dog. No! Here. Good girl. Toto's sniffing around like she has to go to the bathroom. That might have been why uh, she sort of was floundering at the end. She did, she did great. But no, look at your dog. Watch your dog when you're training the dog. If the dog is sort of um, excited, let the dog go to the bathroom. And if the dog goes to the bathroom, then go back to work. That's many times the, the case when you see a dog that's sort of having issues that you know knows something real good. Just give it the hurry, hurry command, let it go to the bathroom, and then get back to work. Keep your sessions real short, especially when it's hot out. Dogs function great at 28 degrees. Today is going to be 80, maybe even higher. So we won't be working hold or anything like that. We'll be working other stuff and we'll be working in the shade. Keep the sessions real short. I was 100% correct. She just went to the bathroom. Now she'll function better, but we already worked on that. We'll, we'll, we can work on um, well later this afternoon. Good girl, Toto. Here, heel. Dog's awesome. Come on, baby, heel. Sit. Heel. Come on. Sit. So many times owners make mistakes by going too fast. Now I just did the weave pulls with her. She can't do the weave pulls off leash, but we have the leash back on her. Don't go too fast. Have realistic expectations for your dog. Make it go smooth for the dog because every time you go too fast, you're gonna make it more difficult for the dog. You're gonna cause stress. Go slow, take your time and be thorough. Right, Toto? Give me a kiss, Toters. That is a great dog. This is a great dog.